What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice, are going to give you guys <laughs> great information to hopefully take your relationship to a whole new level. Maybe enhance your relationship, maybe make things better. And you know what? If you're not in a relationship, that's okay too, because you can use some of this information with maybe some of your past experiences to go into a new relationship and take that one to a successful higher level. Do not utilize this information to make a problem in your relationship. Yes. <laughs> I've already heard that a couple times in the episode, like, oh, that's a really good idea. Why have we not done that yet? Oh. Remember? Remember? Yes. And then yes. she went back to her husband. She's yes. like, you know, I was watching the show and they said this and I want to know why we haven't done that yet. Yes. And it was kind of like awkward. So yeah. I'm like, just use this for positive things and yes. if you have encountered something that we say and you'd like to apply it to your relationship yeah. just apply it uh, <laughs> yeah treat it like a newfound treasure right don't don't treat it as something like oh how dare you yeah because you know what your husband's not gonna like me or her because of this yeah. or vice versa maybe yeah. the husband turns around the woman i don't know how it goes yeah but at that point listen don't do that yeah don't it's do like that. a brand new book that you're reading right yeah at that point you you've learned something new in this book and Use that information for good and not evil. Yes. These are right? just opinions. Okay? Yes. Opinions. Just opinions. And, well, I don't know. These are true well, facts in some cases. Facts and, for us because we've been, we've been through it. And a lot of experience, yeah. right, from us and people around us that we've learned from too as well because I think it's all a learning experience. But relationships are usually, um, they're original, right? There's usually not two relationships exactly the same. No. Right, because there's different people involved, right? Yeah, uh, and everybody's different. We're like snowflakes, but we're not snowflakes. Oh gosh, ah, I'm there. gonna be in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay out of the cold weather. So, so, uh, you know, when it comes to this, you know, it's you know our topic for today is, is respecting each other's differences, or and your 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 opinions. Respect your opinions, differences, perceptions. perceptions things that are out there and respect yeah. other people's too as well that's your partner mm -hmm. um so and this could be applied to general audience as well if you want to yeah. say that too this literally can um, be applied to anything. you know because two people could look at the and this does happen a lot in mm -hmm. car accidents right you have four different witnesses that see the exact same car accident and usually there's different details in everybody's uh, story what they tell the officers on the police reports and then they take the general mm -hmm. subject of all and then they they make the assumption of who was wrong who wasn't wrong what really happened here at this this accident or crash site so two people perceive things of the same event maybe differently or sometimes they might see it the same but you don't know this unless you communicate and talk which communication is key in any relationship mm -hmm. out there we talk about key. that too as well key. these are like some core things that you guys need to incorporate daily in you your must life communicate and your please do not turn into a turtle yes yes don't go away don't don't shut down always talk about it and if you need some time to talk that's okay too let your partner know and i think they'll be all right with that in most cases not me <laughs> scenarios <laughs> every relationship is different yeah. I mean, this goes for that you know john, if john has an issue i won't even let him get a minute to yeah. even think about it yeah. i'll just harass him until he talks to me about yeah. it and then you know it might come off way worse than it would have if i just gave him like 10 minutes to cool off yes but it's like no talk to me about it now tell me what the problem is why why are you upset tell me now go ahead tell me now 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 he's yeah. like you want me to tell you now I'm yeah. like, oh, maybe I should have given you. Maybe I should have given you that hour you asked for. Yeah, you know, you, you, you sometimes <laughs> sometimes it's good for a little call period to gather your thoughts and, and come correct and and be more stable and unemotional, unemotional, uh, when you're talking to your partner. And that's that's something that you know that you should you need to do. And it's hard because you're running off emotion, in most times mm -hmm. it's passion, it's emotion, and it's hard to constrain yes. but with the respect factor you know there's there's a good example that me and Sharice were talking about the other day mm -hmm. and it was just a perception of somebody's profile online 
right? Mm -hmm. And the profile line, it had uh, a female, and it was, you know, sexually suggestive, I guess, you know, bikini shots, covered shots, whatever it was. Um, you know, in nowadays <laughs> standards out there, it, this is like an everyday thing, right? Because I control our social media page and I'm looking at all these different things every day. <laughs> yeah, for and sure. all the, you know, Instagram models out there. And he's probably, this is probably normalized it, for him. It's so, I'm so desensitized to yeah. these things because of social media and, and even our TV or, and what we're watching nowadays in movies and stuff like that. You know, before when you were watching a TV show, they couldn't say certain cuss words. Those, that's pretty much out the door now. Pretty much. I mean, you can say and that's on regular TV. Yeah, that's on regular TV. That's Couldn't not on cable it. TV like HBO or anything it's like regular that. Regular TV. But, <laughs> wow. you know, it, it's gotten a, more mature in a lot of different ways, right? And uh, which wouldn't be even allowed on TV before. Think about this: Janet Jackson got in trouble or a big thing with Justin Timberlake because of a wardrobe malfunction, and her boob showed with a cover on it. Think about how natural that is today out there. You probably see that on TV all the time. I mean, they might black out the nipple or something like that, but they leave the skin. So, I mean, it's just... it's So, that's, crazy. like, where I come into play, right? Yeah. So, for me, and I am not definitely not on social media all the time because I'm really busy, right? So, I might go on there twice a week. I put a post, and then I am off for the rest of the week. Yes. So, that's just how I do it. However, <laughs> I am a little bit more old school, right? And in Korea, I am only 35, okay? I'm going to be 35 forever, by the way. Don't I don't age past this 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 age here. 35 is it. Um, but 35 you know, past the expiration date. <laughs> I don't have an expiration date. <laughs> I have the what's the what's the thing that, that preserves you with that they got at the yeah. McDonald's now? Man, I don't want no preservatives <laughs> in my no, that's even worse. <laughs> but listen, so I'm still pretty old school, right? So regardless, if if you have a profile or per se and you are doing like provocative things or you have provocative things on there and you know it's there's a difference between being like a classy sleek provocative versus you're just naked provocative there that there's really i mean we're on abc so i can't even really use the exact verbiage that i'd like to use for these two scenarios but I'm still old school, so you know, and I'm I'm still the person like I'm a, I'm a female, and yes, I'm pull the woman empowerment out. So I'm a female, and I I deserve respect. However, if you want respect, you should probably respect yourself because you can't expect someone to respect you. It's almost like you know putting on a short little tiny mini dress and this low cut you know thing with whatever hanging out, and then you go to uh, the bar, right? And then you walk past a couple group of guys, and the guys whistle at you and start making all these little noises like little chipmunks right so when this happens you have to understand that you've put yourself in this predicament because you've dressed that way right now this might still happen if you're wearing sweatpants with a ponytail and you're like okay you're just now you guys are just being like obviously ridiculous but you know that's my perception on things like that and that's what we're talking about like different perceptions because John might look at something and be like, well, and then I might look at it and be like, ew. So, you know, it's just, I guess, you know, it's, you get to, I, you and I can't change, I cannot change how John thinks, you know, and John most certainly cannot yeah. change how I think. Yeah. However, we do have to respect how we, each other thinks, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And then you got to be able to live with that. Then you have to compromise. If, if you can live with that, right? Because there's certain things Some that things people, you won't be able to live with. They won't, they won't be able to do. Some I mean, things will be intolerable. You know, it's the things no, you... No, no, no. What's that thing called? Uh, no, no, no OnlyFans. Yeah. No reason for OnlyFans. There, there's no fan... John doesn't need any fans. He doesn't need to watch fans. <laughs> he doesn't need fans. We're, we're good there. So... <laughs> That's just how I feel about it, right? I know no one would want to be married to me. I love John oh, unconditionally. And he obviously loves me yes, unconditionally. For sure. Absolutely. <laughs> but, you know, it's just, uh, listen, everybody has a different perspective on things, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, sometimes you're going to have to just, you're, you're either going to have to come to a compromise. Sometimes you have to c agree to disagree. And it just is what it is, you know? And sometimes you might be able to convince your partner when you talk to them about whatever it is, maybe it's how you grew up. Like I, I grew up, I, I wasn't able to do certain things. I wasn't even able to put on makeup on my face until I was 15 years old, yeah. 15 years old. Yeah. So yeah, I grew up in a strict household to some degree. So I'm still a little conservative, I of think. Course. That's fine. I, listen, I'm conservative too. Mm -hmm. I, I like the 1950s style approach. I've always said that, old school in that light. Um, you know, it just, 
He's I, accepting 2022. You can't live in an old school life. You got to adapt or you die. I mean, I'm, that I'm, is what it is, you know. Die, so, you know, oh, you're not going to die. I mean, listen, <laughs> you can have these certain. You can have, listen. This is all about having your own perspective, exactly, and, and, and your thoughts about things, and that's what makes our country so great and the way we are. But at that point, you know, some people it is what it is, and like she said, you might have to agree to disagree. Or you have to compromise on things, and if you can't do that, then you know you guys are going to be sticking each other with this left yeah. and right. Yeah. It's just it's it's going to be sitting there by the wayside, and it's like an unhealed wound, right? When you can throw some salt back into it, yeah. it's going to hurt just as bad as it originally did. Yeah. So you know you got to make sure you make an effort to do this. The other thing that I see out there is you know, listen, what I would do or date or back then, you know, is a lot different today, yeah. right? Um, but you know, some people go after something that they like, they go after it, they want it so bad, and that person is doing something that they don't like, right? And they think, when I get with this person, I'm going to change them. Mm. It's hard to change people. People are hard to change. You ever hear like a leopard can't Especially change its spots? Especially they don't want to change. Really? Like they're stuck there? So, you know, it, it's it, it's false hopes, I guess, to a certain extent, yeah. if, if you do need something like that. Or you got to respect it. And that's, right. You know, that's just something that you're going to have to live with and you can't bring up and start throwing back in their face. It's kind of like a situation, and we won't say any names, but we, had a, we have a really good friend of ours. Yeah. And he decided that he wanted to get with a stripper. Yeah. Um, and she that's what she does. For a li- she yeah. does that for a living, She's a right? Dancer, yeah. A dancer on yeah. a pole. So yeah, pole that's dance. a stripper. Um, but <laughs> so but he got with her and I don't know if he thought that maybe when he got with her, like cause he's he likes to control certain you know, situations. Yeah. But he, I don't know if maybe he thought when he got with her that he could change her. Yeah. And then she got with him because he, you know, he got likes to partying, go out and have fun. And she got with him thinking she was going to be able to change him yeah. into not going out and doing whatever it is that he does, yeah. like party and club or alcohol, whatever. Oh, yeah. So, but that didn't happen. They got together. It was like, you know, peaches and cream for like, I don't know, maybe six months. Honeymoon period. Honeymoon period. Yeah. And then after that, it's like, wait, are you going to change? No. Are you going to change? No. Well, we got to come to some sort of agreement. The agreement is we're done. We're not changing and we're going our partner ways. So, yeah. And that was what was best for them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know? But yeah. Um, it's, it's something that we look at here. And some people, as we get older and older, you don't want to waste time either. Mm-hmm. You know, and things time can be precious. fun for a short period of time but it might not be your long-term investment of what you mm-hmm. want to do with your life and your valuable time because time is very valuable. We mm-hmm. talk about that too as well. So, you know, just just be open to things. Don't let things, I guess, come up your mind. Respect people's boundaries and what they're doing. And at that point, respect yourself. That's yeah. the biggest thing out there. you got to have respect for yourself. And, and I get it, guys. I understand. It's 2022. Everybody's on this little Instagram, TikTok, or whatever it's called. And they're all wearing bikinis. And they've all done their fair share because I've met them in person. And I'm like, are you this? I will pull out my phone. I'm like, this does not look like you at all. I'm like, so confused <laughs> but you know there's all these filters so you guys gotta remember like there's a reality out there right and just because you see it online like that doesn't make it reality right, all the time right so don't always think everything is like so perfect and it's people not. look so perfect and Nobody's their skin perfect. is so perfect and everything is perfect yeah. it's not like that not like the the amount of filters that they have out there but between videos and pictures and whatever else kind of filters it's crazy what they can do yep so just don't compare yourself to that and really, really, truly just respect yourself. Respect yourself, respect your partner, yeah. and respect your loved ones. That's yes. what it's all about. Set those boundaries. So it's been a great Cupid's Corner with you guys. We'll be here every Sunday for you guys on ABC at 11 a.m. Make sure you guys DVR it. If you don't do that, go over to YouTube. Hit the subscribe button, the all notification bell. You can see this awesome show and a lot more cool content from Titan Medical Center. And if you guys are interested in our therapies, you want to feel good, look good, perform better, you guys can always call or text us at 727-389-3220. Check out the website, titanmedicalcenter.com, and see all the different therapies and how we can help you. So I appreciate you guys. We'll be back next Sunday for Cupid's Corner. See you then. That's our bell. Yeah, that works.